Jeez, I am flying solo here today. No Cindy, obviously. No Anna or no children here uh, keeping me in line. So I'm going to do my very best to get this right the first time. We'll see how we do. Uh, what we're going to do today is what I've called the 3 2 1 uh, full body workout. Uh, and what I mean by that is in each set, there are four of them, in each set, we are doing about three minutes of strength work, two minutes of cardio work, and one minute of core work in each set. Uh, I am just going to go through and demo each set as we go, and then I'll try to get techy and combine all these videos together, and you'll just have one uh, video here at the end. So, uh, do your warm-up while you're listening to me here. Go through our warm-up routine, uh, and I am going to uh, go through set number one, telling you uh, of the exercises we're going to be doing. In the strength portion, there are three exercises. The first one is goblet, squat, plus a press. There's going to be lots of compound work here uh, today. Uh, if you have a weight, you know with the goblet squat, we hold this real close to our chest. I sort of wipe my feet off on the mat to get that comfortable uh, squat position. I squat, keeping that chest as proud as possible, push up through the heels, and then I press it overhead. During that overhead press, make sure that core stays tight so that I don't hyperextend and let that go into my back. Uh, remember, again, with weights, if you don't have many weights at home, you can always put two light ones together for this. Um, again, I'm back to my water jug. It's eight pounds. Uh, water bottles. Uh, soup cans, Cindy has mentioned. Uh, she has lovely um, bookends that you can use as well. So look around, find what you can use here uh, during the strength portion. If you don't have anything, you can use the bands for the squat and press. The band is under my feet, and then I take it around behind me over the shoulders. We did this last week. Squat, keeping that chest proud, press, squat, press, okay, exercise one. Number two is a wall sit in conjunction with the cross body shoulder tap. So remember the points of the wall sit. I want my ankles and knees stacked. Anything out here is going to make it easier or in here is going to make it easier. You want those ankles and knees stacked, and you want to be as close to a 90 degree here as you can. Lower, believe it or not, is easier. Higher is easier. So 90 degrees, stacked ankles and heels, weight in each hand here, soup can in each hand, whatever you've got, back against the wall, I'm looking straight ahead. I bring that Dumbbell or weight over, tap my shoulder, tap, 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 all right, tap, tap. So it's a wall sit, cross body, shoulder, tap here. I right, push through those heels on that wall sit. The third strength exercise is a deadlift plus wide row. If you have weights, Remember with that deadlift, we hinge at the hips. Our legs are straight but not locked. I keep that neutral neck by looking down here between my feet. Those weights right, ride down my uh, shins. I go to wide row at the bottom. My elbows are flared out. Down and up. The important part on this is the weights always stay close to your ankles. Don't let them get out in front of you or it's going to go to your lower back. So down, wide row, up. If you have a band, you're going to have that under your feet. You're going to cross it. 
cross it, find the right tension, hinge at the hip, neutral neck, um, uh, wide row, and up. Down, I'm looking at you, you look down, and up, okay? Those are the three strength exercises. We're gonna go through those twice at 30-10. Then we're gonna hit the cardio exercise portion. There's two of those. We've got fast feet and we've got skaters. Okay, 30-10, we're gonna go through that twice. Last bit of this set is core. We've got two exercises here. We're only gonna do it once. We're gonna do a plank hold. So I'm on my elbows, my core, the, my core is tight. Shoulders and elbows are lined up and I hold here. If you're on your hands, same thing. Wrist and shoulders stacked, hold. If you're on your knees, same thing. Wrists, shoulders stacked, hold. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds, then 10 second break. Then we're going to get down on our mat and do a hollow hold. This is, I want you to start by having your knees either up or here so that that lower back gets pressed into the ground. So I just sort of like to start here in a ball. And when the timer goes, I extend my arms and legs. Think about pressing the, that lower back in, and I'm holding for 30 seconds. If, if that's too much for you, you can just go to the dead bug position here and hold. Otherwise, we're doing this hollow hold. Wherever you're comfortable, pressing that back down into the lower back, down into the ground. Okay? So that's set number one. Again, we're doing it at 30-10. Uh, oh, nuts. <laughs> you see what happens when I don't have my assistants here with me? I want my glasses. Off to a rock and start here, ladies. Okay. <laughs> All right. Turn your music on. You don't want to hear me. Hopefully, you've gone through your warm up. We're going to start with the goblet squat and press, wall sit, cross body, shoulder tap and deadlift wide row at 30-10. Let's see, I've got my daughters. Goblet squat and press. With a weight or a band, press. Keep that core tight. Press. Good. 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of break. Our turnaround is pretty quick here. So, know what we're doing and get right to it. We've got the wall sit, cross shoulder tap next. Good, grab those weights if you have them. Wall sit, start with the weights to your side, cross tap, cross tap. Good, with control. Ankles and knees are stacked. You're pushing through the heels. You're at that 90 degree. Good, good, good. Lots of things working here. Almost there. We got deadlift wide row next. Oh, good. You can use the bands, remember to cross them or weights. Weight stays close to your shin and up. Neutral neck. Good. Wide row. Mind body piece here is back. Back and hamstring glute. Double duty. Almost there. We're back to Goblet and plus the press. Good. Remember, if you've got the weights, they're under your feet and over your shoulders. I'm sorry if you've got the bands. Otherwise, we hold the weight. Squat. Press. Keep that core tight. 
chest proud. I want to be able to read that shirt. Probably here in my knees. Hopefully these compound movements. I'm getting your heart rate going too. Good. Wall sit with the cross. Cross body shoulder tap. Here we go. Good. Ankles and knees are stacked. 90 degrees. Pushing through those heels. It's going to burn a little more round two. Deadlift wide row. Next. If you've got the bands, you're crossing them. If you've got the weights, they stay close to your legs. Neutral neck, wide row, up. Good. Keep those weights close to your legs. If you're using bands, give it a little pause out there when you come up in that wide row. Good. All right. We've got our uh, strength portion, I'm sorry, our cardio portion now. Remember that's fast feet and skaters. So we're doing that 30 seconds of work, 10 second break. We're gonna go through it twice, A, B, A, B. Little break, then we're gonna hit our core, just one time through the core, and then we're done with set one, okay? So, fast feet in three, two, one, go. No one's here to watch all the jiggle that's happening here. Keep that core tight. Channel that inner football player. Keep those feet moving. Here we go. Almost there. Woo, 10 second break. Skaters. Touching is more difficult or just side to side. Try to go this way. Get a good push off that outside leg. That's what we're really looking for here. Again, if you need more of a break, hit pause. Good. Back to fast feet. Also, if at any point any of the uh, cardio exercises are too much, you can always go to Toy Soldier or March and Reach. Those are always our go-tos. Keep it up. We're almost there. Looking at my broken glasses. Uh. Whew. Break. Skaters. And we'll have a little break before we hit our core here. Here we go. Push. Push. Just as with all cardio, tempo. If you want to touch. Tempo is everything. Some people like to bring a foot behind. I try to balance. More work on that leg. It's whatever works for you. Good. Get a sip of water. We're gonna finish with those uh, two plank exercises. 
plank hold and then roll over that hollow hold. So, try to think best way to get this in video for you. If you need a longer break, just hit pause here. Start with plank hold. Elbows and shoulders are in line. My core is tight. A nice plank positioning. I keep that neutral neck. I look between my uh, hands here. I don't want those hips to drop and I don't want them to tent up. Whether you're on your hands or your elbows or knees, keep it tight. Good. Get that lower back pressed into the ground here. Sorry to have my... And extend. No, yeah, you can't see my feet. <sighs> Press that lower back in. Hold, it's only 30 seconds. If you need to go to dead bug, go to dead bug. Press that back in. You've got this, ladies. Don't give up on it. Only time you have to do this. One time. Press, 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 press. Wah. Woo. Set one. Okay. Set number two of this full body back and buys uh, workout. Our strength portion. Our three exercises are side plank flies. We've done these before. So I'm sure you remember. I get down into that side plank. Elbow and shoulder are stacked. I have a, a light weight here in front of me or a soup can or a water bottle. As straight as I can keep my arm here, I lift that up and return it with control. Okay, so one round will be on one side. The second round will be on the other side for that. Uh, then we've got a side lunge shoulder press. This is either light weights or no weights. Not really a band option here. So you've either got two of your light weights racked here at your front. We go down for that uh, side lunge. Remember, uh, butt back, as I always say, butt back, push up, press. Or if you have one weight, I'm going to hold it here to my chest, butt back, push, press. Okay? So if you've just got a soup can uh, or um, anything that you can find, really. Laundry detergent, press, whatever it is, uh, try to use it here on that one. And then reverse lunge, bicep curl. We're gonna do one side, round one, other side, round two. So the leg that's gonna go back is the leg I'm gonna hold that uh, weight in. So I believe we did these last week. Uh, so you know the drill. Reverse, when I'm down in that lunge, curl, I go back to neutral and up. Reverse, curl, and up. Remember that reverse lunge? What we're looking for here is a nice uh, 90 degree on the front. I like my goal is to have that back knee a couple inches from the ground. Curl, push back up. So we'll do one side, one round other side the other round. Uh, again, not a band option on that one, so grab something. I don't care what it is. Like I said, that, that soup can, that water bottle, something to give you a little resistance with that uh, bicep curl. Then for our uh, cardio, our two cardios, our skier and just a burpee to stand. So even kickback, Stand, stand. Again, with any of these cardios, 
I know there are those of you, Debbie, who hate burpees with every ounce of your being. Uh, do a toy soldier, do a march and reach. Um, uh, if you're just adamantly opposed to anything that has the word burpee in it, uh, then your core is a side plank crunch. So, shoulders and wrists stacked. I have my feet stacked or I have a kickstand, if you need that kickstand. Start with my, my uh, hand behind my head. I bring that down, I try to get that elbow to touch the floor while keeping my hips up. Touch and open, touch and open. We'll do one side and then the next one will be the other side and then we're done with that, okay? So let's start with our strength. Uh, Side plank flies one side, reverse lunge bicep curl one side. Oh, and the side press, okay? So we're gonna go through that strength portion two times. I'm starting the side plank flies first. Here we go, straight arm, pull. Good. Pull. Pull. Nice. Good. Straight arm pull. Think about that back. Keep that core tight and those hips up. Give yourself a kickstand if you need it. We're doing the side lunge press next. Good. Grab one weight. Hold it to your chest or two weights and rack it. Butt back. Push, press, push, press. Good. Keep that core tight. Almost there. Reverse lunge. Bicep curl, same leg, leg that goes back is the leg we're curling on. So, reverse lunge, curl up. Good. Good, side plank flies, other side. <laughs> I don't know, sorry ladies, here we go. Give a kickstand if you need it. lunge shoulder press either rack them or hold one butt back up press good Keep that core tight. Good. Get the reverse lunge. Bicep curl. Other side. Reverse curl up. Reverse curl up. Listen, ladies. So far, other than the broken glasses, I've gotten the exercises right. 
Good, we've got our cardio portion next. Good, get a sip of water here. Uh, we've got skiers and burpee to stand. Remember, any of these cardios, you can sub out for um, Toy Soldier, March and Reach, just plain old jumping jacks. You ladies know the cardio board. So anything you wanna sub out, uh, sub out. I will tell you, my heart rate's at 150 just from doing uh, those compound exercises. Now, if you have light weights or no weights, it may not be up as high. And if that's the case, then you really need to hit this cardio portion pretty good because that's our, our, our opportunity to get that heart rate up there, okay? So, skiers, burpee to stand, except for those of you who uh, don't like burpees. So I don't like climbing ladders. Okay, so, here we go. Ears. As always with cardio, tempo and arm movement. I mean, if you keep your arms down here, heart rate won't be as high as if you're swinging them up over your head. You control it, do what you need to do. You're all familiar with your heart rates by now. Good, break, burpee to stand, or whichever one you ladies choose. Nice tight core, even kick back. Tight, stand, tight, stand, good. Good. Almost there. Good. Back to skiers. Here we go. Toy soldier, march and reach. Stand. Tight core, even kick back. Take a break, bring that heart rate down just a little bit. And then we've got our core. Side plank, crunch one side, we'll roll over. Side plank, crunch the other side. Use the kickstand leg if you need it. Also, just hold that side plank if you need to. Uh, if anybody's um, uh, uh, shoulders are bothering them, sorry. Uh, just go on your hands for that hand plank here and do the, bring that knee in, hold it for three seconds, back, knee in, three seconds, back. Okay, do that one set, do opposite the second set if your shoulders are bugging you for that side plank. 
All right, ladies, here we go. Our core here in set two. Side plank crunch. Good, keep that core nice and strong. Touch and open, touch and open. Or hold that side if, if you need to. Use that kickstand leg if you need to. Touch and open. Keep that core tight and those hips up. Good. Good. Other side. Here we go. Good, touch and open. Almost there, ladies. And we're done with set two. Halfway there. Good, good, good. Nice work. Set number three, ladies. Uh, our strength, our three strength exercises. All ones, uh, for the most part, that you should be familiar with. Anybody that does any of our workouts on the blog for sure uh, will know these. So, the first one is the sumo squat plus the bicep curl. You're holding one weight here or one water jug or one laundry jug. Uh, some sort of resistance you're holding here because you can't mimic this with bands. I've got my sumo stance, knees and toes uh, going in that same direction. My torso is gonna stay upright and my elbows are gonna stay by my side. I go down into that sumo squat, I curl at the bottom and then come up. Sumo, knees back, torso upright, Bicep curl, elbows stay by my side, and up. Uh, second one, Superman lat pull. We all know this one. I'm down, uh, arms and legs extended here. I hover, pull those arms back. Thinking I'm bringing those elbows. If I could touch my elbows together behind me, extend. If you can stay uh, hovering, Stay hovering. If you need to do three or four, go down and come up. Do that. If you need to do one and go down, do one and go down. The other option is if your lower back is uh, really bothering you, keep those feet down. Just bring those arms up, lat pull, and down. Okay, so lots of options on that uh, Superman lat pull. Now for the wall sit exercise, it's a wall sit, front hold, alternating shoulder tap. Now when I came up with these, uh, number one, Cindy wasn't here to monitor me, so you know how that goes. But number two, my thought process was, most of us have no weights or light weights at home. So everything that we're trying to create for you keeps that in mind. What exercises can we do that's gonna elevate your heart rate, still gonna work on strength, even though we don't have those heavy weights available uh, to us. So, two soup cans, two water bottles, whatever you've got here. I'm, I've got uh, light, light uh, weights here because this is a definite shoulder burn. So, as you remember from that wall sit, Knees and ankles are stacked. I've got a 90 degree uh, angle going here, bending my legs. Arms are extended in front of me and I'm looking straight ahead. I alternate back with that tap. My elbow stays pointed straight ahead. Tap, tap, tap. This is why I said lightweight, okay? I'm pushing through those heels. Tap, tap, tap. Tap. Whoa, it's rough. 
I'm not gonna lie. So go real light on those. Uh, our cardio, lateral hop, you know. And then the second one is that sumo punch, where we all know I look foolish uh, <laughs> doing that. It's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex looking for a boxing match. Uh, and then our core, we're going to do plank hip taps. I'm on my elbows here. My core is tight. I come down to one side, rainbow up and over. Don't drop those hips. Tap, rainbow up and over, tap, up and over, tap. I'm not actually tapping my hip here. I'm probably a couple inches from the ground. So keep that core nice and tight. If that's too much for you, just hold that plank. Then we're going to flip over here to our backs. Uh, and do those long leg obliques where opposite hand to opposite ankle, switch, switch, okay? So that is set number three here. Let's start with the strength and the sumo bicep curl. Ah, uh, here we go, ladies. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm burning an ample amount of calories. Sumo, curl up curl up good knees back torso upright good <laughs> i don't know how good the sound is but it's like a wild rumpus happening upstairs here good almost there we've got our superman lap pulls next good my lower back has been bugging me so I'm gonna keep my toes down and just do the lap pull with my arms pull keep that neutral neck you're kind of looking at the floor in front of you don't look up too much on your neck if you're hovering and need to come down for a break do so squeeze mind to body connection on this Squeeze those shoulder blades. Almost there. Good. Come up. We've got that wall sit. Front hold, shoulder taps. Start out here. Elbows pointing ahead. Tap. Dig deep. Push through those heels. Squeeze those dumbbells or that weight. You've got this. Point, point those elbows ahead. If you need to drop the weight and just go with the movement, oh, do so. But try to push through that one. It's a good one. Back to sumo bicep. Here we go. Down, curl, up. Down, curl, up. Another option, the reason I have the timing at 30-10, there is a reason behind it, and that is, again, having light weights or no weights, I wanna to try to elevate our heart rates as best I can. And by shortening your break, it's going to do that. Now, if it's too much for you, you have the written workout. So here we go, Superman lap pulls. So by all means, print out the workout and you can do this at 3015 if you'd like to change the timing. Uh, you all know how to do that. So by all means, if 10 seconds just isn't enough for you, you can either hit pause or print out that workout now that you know how to do it and set your own timer. Good. All right, ladies, we're doing this together. Dig deep. Last set of these wall sets. Arms out, tap, elbows straight ahead. Push through those heels. You've got this.
Here we go. Challenge yourself here. You're by yourself. I'm with you. Don't let go of it. I know you can do it or I wouldn't have asked. Oh, nice. All right. Get a sip of water. Get a sip of water. Let's get our cardio in. See, I'm at 150 just from our compound uh, exercises here. So, yay workout. <laughs> Lateral hops and my lame little T-Rex arm sumo punch. All right, and see I don't have Anna here telling me, give him a minute. <laughs> oh, mercy. So how many puzzles have you all done in your house? We've done them, taken them apart, done them, pulled out every board game we can find. Uh, I'm running out of things to do here, ladies. Uh, although I did find a chair I could refinish. That's the next <laughs> project. Okay, we feeling all right? All right, let's go to our lateral hops. Oh, I gotta tell you a funny story here. Lateral hops, again, toy soldiers, march and reach. I gotta go side this way. there. Good. Sumo punch. I always try to have Cindy demo this one because <laughs> oh, it's not right. Now, you do have to have some control. You don't want to sling that arm out and hyperextend that elbow. So keep that in control. Keep your core tight. <laughs> and look like you know what you're doing, unlike me. See, right arm, that's all right. Left, no. Okay, <laughs> back to lateral hops. Oh, mercy. Here we go. there. Good. Sumo punch. Maybe if I go this way, you'll only see my good arm. Oh, here we go. Core tight. Let's see. Becca, you can see how much I sweat. And I don't even have my fan going because I didn't want it to be too loud. Uh, but there's little droplets everywhere here. <sighs> Sweaty Betty. Thought you know it was good. Good. Okay. Catch your breath. We've got the plank hip taps and long leg obliques. Uh, try this. How are we doing? This is going to be a winner. <sighs> nope. Okay. Plank hip taps or plank hold. Tap up and over. Rainbow up and over. Don't let those hips drop. Tap. Good. Good. 
good. Almost there. Break. Long leg obliques. Opposite hand, opposite angle. Ankle switch. You affect tempo here. This can be a cardio heart rate depending on how fast you do them. Arms and legs are moving. If that's too much, just keep these legs and go for a toe touch. Good. Set three. Down. Nice work, ladies. I'm gonna go right into um, demoing set four for you, the last set. Okay, the three strength exercises in this final set is the squat and press. Uh, if you have weights, I want them racked. We go down for that squat, up, and press, okay? You guys have seen that a lot because it's a compound movement. It's working on strength and heart rate. If you have bands, just like we did in the first set with the goblet press, goes under your feet, behind your back there, over your, over, over your shoulders, squat, press. Okay, think about keeping those strong knees and that, that proud chest. Uh, dead bug with weights here. Um, water bottle, soup can, uh, water jug, whatever you've got. I like to start with arms and legs up here. My head is down. As my legs lower, my arms go back straight, so it becomes sort of like a lat pullover. I'm back and pull. Changes to that are my legs are bent. I tap and come up. If it's uh, still too much, just do one leg at a time. But I do want you to keep those arms as straight as possible so that we're trying to uh, uh, work our lats there a little bit. And then runner's lunge, close row. Runner's lunge is like a reverse lunge, but in the reverse lunge, that leg that's back there is bent. In a runner's lunge, let's see if I can get it all in here. It's, it's a uh, straighter extension uh, behind me. So you can see I'm sort of resting this arm here. I've got my weight here. I'm not really in. I don't want to arch up though. That's too much on my lower back. And I'm doing a close row. Pause. Down. Pause. Now what I like to do with my rows is I count them this way. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. So it gives me that intentional pause at the top, okay? So it's a runner, so we'll do that on one side. So the leg that's back is the arm that's working, just like when we did our reverse lunge bicep curl. If you're using a band, and you can on this one, so if you don't have a water jug or any kind of uh, resistance, but you have a band, it's gonna go under my foot. I've got that exaggerated runner's lunge here. I grab that band pretty tight, okay? I keep a nice neutral neck. Pause, down, pause. You gotta pull that pretty tight to keep tension on that the entire time, okay? Uh, so those are our three strength exercises. Cardio, butt kick, okay, and Squat jump or modified squat jump? Squat jump, you know, chest up, explode. I, we don't want you bending over here. So if you can't get all the way down to the ground, it's still about here and explode. Or together, together, 
together, okay? Or Toy Soldier March and Reach, okay? And then for our core portion, we have got the crunch, knees up crunch, where I'm gonna give you the halfway. We're gonna pause, pause at the top, and then when I say that's halfway, we go regular speed on those crunches. Then we'll flip over here and finish with bird dog. Okay, keep that handshake hand, and I will give you the halfway on that one as well. Okay, so that's our fourth set. Let's start with squat and press. Hold those weights and rack them, or band under your feet and behind your shoulders. Last set, ladies. Let's see. How am I doing? I am well, well over uh, 300 um, active calories. So, hey, it's a winner. All right, ladies, here we go. Five seconds. Squat and press. Chest up, push through those heels, press. Press, keep that core tight. Press. Good. Same movement if you've got that band. Press. If you have nothing, that's okay. Squat, raise your hands. That movement's gonna get your heart rate going. Good. Dead bug with weight here. I start up here and back. Straight arms, my head is down. If your legs need to be bent and you just tap those heels, that's fine. Or if you do one leg at a time, that's fine too. But keep those arms straight as they go behind you. We've got the runner's lunge close row next. Good. The leg that's back in that runner's lunge is the arm I'm working. Down, up. I keep a neutral neck. Good. Think about that back. This balance here is working everything. Your legs are working. Good. Back to the squat and press. Start them racked. Here we go. Push through this heels and up. Strong knees. Good. 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 Dead bug with weight. Head down, straight arms, lower one leg at a time, both legs, bent legs, whatever works for you here. If you need to have your feet down, and you're only doing the lat pullover movement, that's okay too. Runner's lunge, close row, other side. Here we go. Down, up. Down, up, neutral neck. Good. All right. 
Get a sip of water. Got cardio next. Butt kicks and squat jumps. This is it. Again, if you need to do uh, your toy soldier or march and reach, that's fine. Jumping jacks, low kicks. Uh, those are all uh, options here. Last two cardio. We're almost there. 132, I'll take that. How are we doing? All right, ladies, here we go. We got this. Let's finish strong here. Butt kicks, keep that core tight. So here's my story. I'm cruising along outside yesterday doing some interval running. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I got a good pace going. I'm thinking, huh, not too bad for, for an old lady. Next thing I know, this high school girl in shorts and a t-shirt breezes by me like she's not even trying. It was hysterical. Like God's saying to get over yourself. It was humbling, to say the least. All right, ladies, squat jumps or modified. Either way, keep that chest up when you squat and explode or go to the, to the um, modified. Good. Almost there. Good, butt kicks. I have one assistant here. Look out, buddy. He always finds my mat. Good. Last one here. Oh, my shoes are coming untied. Here we go. Almost there. Ugh. All right, crunches. Bent leg crunch. I'll give you the halfway with the pause. Pause, down. Pause, down. Good. I guess I didn't give you a break here. If you <laughs> need to hit, pause and get a break. I'm now fast. I'm like that horse that sees the barn. I'm over it. I just want to finish. Sorry, ladies. There's the addendum. <laughs> ah, Percy, bird dog. Ah, it was so close. So close to getting it right. Here we go. Neutral hand. Neutral neck, little pause at the top. And switch. Ladies, well done. Hey, secret word for this workout, Canerco, for all you Sox fans. Uh, we're all dreaming of spring baseball. Ah, uh, anyhow, nice job, ladies. So it's back, 
thighs, full body. Uh, you did an excellent job. Other than my <laughs> broken pair of glasses, we did great. Nice work.